And now we take a look back at what was making the news in our History Through Headlines segment. In 1943, the film Casablanca was released. Emerging singer Frank Sinatra made his debut on radio's Your Hit Parade. FDR was president and six Major League Baseball teams in Indiana. The headline reads, Welcome to Bloomington, Cincinnati Reds. In the midst of World War II, Major League Baseball spring training was held in the northern states due to wartime travel restrictions. Six teams were sent to Indiana. The Chicago Cubs and White Sox trained in French Lick. The Cleveland Indians trained in Lafayette. The Detroit Tigers were in Evansville. The Pittsburgh Pirates in Muncie. And the Cincinnati Reds settled in Bloomington at IU's Jordan Field, where the Indiana Memorial Union parking lot exists today. Everything I've read about, it was uh, astounding because the Reds were supposed to be a pennant winner. They had a lot of popular players. so. You can imagine if the Reds today or the Yankees or whomever would come here and work out at Bloomington and be here for those weeks, it was uh, uh, quite a buzz. It was a big deal. The poor weather forced the Reds and their exhibition opponent, the Indianapolis Indians, to train inside the Wildermuth Gymnasium. So the Reds show up for spring training in 1943. Their groundskeepers and all came a little bit early. They were a little bit shocked at what they had, but this is where they worked from. The IDS reported on that first exhibition game on Jordan Field. The Reds defeated the Indians 8-6 in front of a capacity crowd of 2,000 fans. The team stayed at the Graham Hotel in downtown Bloomington and walked to the 10th Street Stadium, where the Arboretum is now for locker room facilities, then before heading to the field house for practice. The Reds would return for spring training in Bloomington the following year, despite all the rain and snow that canceled some games.